What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the easiest possible way to jailbreak your device on a Windows PC. So with the new updated Pongu jailbreak tool, it actually automatically installs Cydia directly on your device with the jailbreak. So you don't actually have to install Cydia post jailbreak. So that's a huge plus and something that really we're all accustomed to uh, on our previous jailbreak. So that's really nice. So I know a lot of you guys are wanting to jailbreak on a Mac and it's kind of complicated at this point. You can either use Parallels or a virtual machine in order to do it. The Pongu team is working on a tool for the Mac, so just keep that in mind. If you guys want to see a tutorial on that, then make sure you subscribe and I'll put one up as soon as it's available. But let's go ahead and get started with this extremely simple process. The first thing you want to do is just go to this website. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to just click on. And then all you want to do is download this Pongu jailbreak tool. And this is 42 meg, so it shouldn't take too long to download. And then once you've downloaded that, go ahead and open it up. And you can see, first of all, that it's in English, which is a really nice <laughs> step up from what we were used to seeing, which was basically just a bunch of random characters but now we're in English so that's really nice the first thing you want to do is make sure you don't have a passcode on your device so go ahead and slide to unlock and you can see that I don't have a passcode on my phone so that's the first step so then all you need to do is make sure that your device is recognized as you can see mine right up here it says the iPhone 5s so then really all you have to do is click jailbreak then you're going to see this menu right here so we'll go through each one of these the first one says the jailbreak might lead to data loss please make a full backup of your device via iTunes before jailbreak. So this is something that I've always recommended. Make sure you make a backup of your device before you actually jailbreak, just because it's always possible that something could go wrong. Hardly ever does it go wrong, but it's always possible. The next thing says, please switch your device to airplane mode before jailbreak, which will significantly increase the success rate of the jailbreak. So let's go ahead and do that. All you need to do, swipe up, and you can see that I'm actually on airplane mode right now. So all you need to do is tap on that toggle, and then you're good to go. And then for number three, it says if you have a large amount of data in your device in order to speed up the jailbreaking process and increase the success rate, please back up your device and then restore it to a clean copy of the iOS operating system. And then of course you can always restore your data after the jailbreak from the previous backup, which is actually what I've done. You can see right here that I have a fresh install of iOS 8. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on already did, and then it's going to start the jailbreak. And this is not going to take very long. Uh, it goes pretty quick. And once we're done, not only are we gonna be jailbroken, but we're gonna have Cydia. So, so I'll actually do this in real time. That way you guys can get an idea of how long it should take to jailbreak your device. And if you get this little pop-up right here, it says storage almost full, just tap done. That's fine. All right, so you can see that the jailbreak has succeeded and it's rebooting my device. So we're actually done with Windows. Now everything is done. All we need to do is wait for our device to come back up. All right, so now we're done. We'll just slide to unlock right here. You can see if we swipe over, we not only have the Pongu tool, but we also have Cydia. So if we go ahead and open up Cydia, then we're gonna prepare our file system. And this process always takes a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up through it. All right, so now Cydia is done updating. So you can see if we swipe over here, open it up, then we have the fully functional Cydia right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, then make sure you subscribe.
All right, guys. Until next time, peace.